But unless you protest, things just happen. So it's very important to stand up for these states. We don't agree with this. I'm a writer and an author myself, so obviously I'm involved in literature and books. And a few members of my family are also writers. So my older sister is a lecturer at Bath Spa University and is a novelist. And then my mother um, wrote a lot of books about our family history. And the book that she wrote, The History of the English Family in Bath from 1770 to 1890, is in Bath Central Library. And also my three times back great uncle wrote a book called Views from Lansdowne Tower and there's only two copies left in the UK, one of which I think or one or two copies are in Bath Central Library. So I've got a very vested interest in keeping the library where it is, keeping the research section there and, and also my books are in there, my sister's books are there, my mother's books, my great uncle's books, so I'm you know terribly into our library. Well, the, the library is very well loved. It was built and opened on the 1st of October 1990, so it's been there for quite a while. So an awful lot of residents have grown up with it and have taken their children there and it's part of the community. And then the, the movement happened when we'd seen on the council website that something was um, going to occur and they were going to change it. Well, really to support a lot of different uh, things that are going on, uh, just cuts obviously the arts uh, and also the moving the library when a lot of people want to use the library. Um, but also um, combine that with uh, other things happening in Bath, Bath Meadows as well, uh, where they're to put their park and ride. So really solidarity with all the people protesting here, really. Uh, the reason I'm involved is that my children have grown up Going to the library here, it's more than just just a service that um, where you get books from. It's a place where you can you can go on to talks. The children go to readings. Um, it's a safe place to just hang out with the kids, read. My kids feel very at home there, and um, yeah, it's been part of their their childhood. The council had decided on that date to hold um, a council meeting and allow, I think it was five or six members of the group to be able to talk about why we want the library to stay where it is. And I was one of those people and we were allowed to talk for three minutes. So the council were going to have their budget meeting and allow some of us to talk on that date. But we thought that it would be a good idea to have the protest on that date as well. So while we're in there talking to the council outside in the street, we'd be people going, save our library, we love our library, so that they'd actually see and hear that people are very passionate about keeping the library where it is. They have a budget, they have a job that they have to do and they thought in their infinite wisdom that moving the library would save them money um, but it's not saving the money, it's going to cost them money to do what it is that they propose but they have a budget that they have to stick to which we quite understand but they've looked at it completely back to front and it isn't going to save them any money by moving, it's going to cost them more and not only that, it's going to cost the community. Local authorities have been cut and cut again by the government. They keep on cutting them back. This year the effects of the cut are so serious that social care has been radically damaged and they're talking about closing the central library and moving it down the road to a poorer place. Close the library that's above the podium, which is a wonderful meeting space for people in Bath. It's a fantastic place for people to bring their children. Lots of A-level students do their work there. Like basically all levels of the community use this space and they want to close it to save money. It's a fabulous place, it's big, it's flat, it's all at one level, it's got disabled access, the doors open automatically, there's flipping loads of books, 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 that's what you want in the library, plus there's the computers if you need them, but it's a lovely resource, it's really nice. I think it was in December last year that the council made the proposal. There's been various different things that the Safe Bath Library have done. Off their own back, nobody's getting paid, everybody's doing this as a volunteer, because we do genuinely want to keep the library where it is. Unlike the council, they're being paid to do stuff. We're doing it because we love the place so much, yeah.